In this video we're going to look at the effective annual rate and how to calculate this on an HP 12C calculator. This is also known as the AER, which is the annual equivalent rate. So if we imagine that you put $100 in the bank for one year at 10%, so this example here. At the end of the year you would have $110 if that was paid at the end of the year, or if your interest was compounding monthly, then you would have $110.47. So compounding monthly results in more money at the end of the period. So 10% paid every month is the same thing as 10.7% paid at the end of one year. So we call this 10.7% your effective annual rate. So that takes into account the effects of compounding when you're paying more frequently than one year. So let's look at how we could calculate this using your HP 12C financial calculator and we'll use this example here and we expect to get 10.47% at the end. So the first step is we're going to clear the memory. Uh, this memory has probably already been cleared but I'll show you how to do it anyway. So you would be clearing the display, so you would press clear X, then you would want F, and then this X, Y button, which has got fin, that clears the financial memory. So let's start by entering 10, so 10, enter, that's our interest rate, 10%, and we'll just save it into the memory like that by pressing the enter key. Then we're going to put the number 12 into our period, so that's our N, so we'll do 12, then store that in the N, we're then going to press divide i. So remember we've got the 10 in the memory and 12 in n, and 12 is on the display here already. So we're doing divide. So this is doing 10 divided by 12. Remember we put 10 in the memory previously. And we're going to save this into i, so that's why we're pressing i here. All right. Now to finish the calculation, we're going to change the sign because of the conventions. We'll put this into payment, and then if we press um, FV we're going to get 10.47 which is exactly as we expected. So if you follow these steps you'll be able to calculate the EAR. So you've got your interest rate here and your number of periods N and follow these steps and you're going to get your EAR as desired. Thank you for watching.